Hey guys, this is Anmesh from Eklavya. This is the first shoe review we're doing. This is the shoe we're going to talk about today. It's the SC500 from Tamak. Tamak, uh, you can say it's from Decathlon. Decathlon, as you might know, is a big uh, sports equipment chain all over India. So it's the first of a kind basketball shoe that they're releasing. They have released a few shoes before in, in the past, but this is something different. This is new. Uh, you can have a closer look over here of what I'm holding. You'll get the detailed look soon. And also, this isn't a brand new shoe. I've played in for about a good 10-15 days and it still looks like this. So that's good. That's a good sign. That's a good sign of durability. So here we are doing our first ever shoe review. This is the black and gold version of the shoe. The shoe comes in different color combinations as well that will be released soon on their website or on their shops. Right now what I have is a black and gold version. As you can see, the midsole is kind of a bit yellowish gold and the rest of the entire shoe is black and the sole has a lot of golden colors or yellow colors with the grooves in it. We'll come to that later, the sole with a closer look. Let's talk about the fit of the shoe. Well, one thing I can say, this shoe is way more comfortable than it looks. You can't judge this by the looks. If a person like me who has a wider foot, I generally tend to buy basketball shoes a size bigger so that I can fit in easily. And this being a high ankle, like as you can say, it's a high top shoe. So I was not sure how it'll, it'll fit in, how difficult it's going to be for me to put, in, put my feet in it, to adjust it. But this shoe surprised me, literally surprised me. It's my, my foot just literally glided in the shoe. The high top, as you see, has got a kind of a breathable fabric to it, which basically allows you, it's wide opening. It lets your feet glide in very perfectly, very smoothly, very easily. So that didn't give me much of a problem at all. It was actually helpful. Like it was a change for me for different shoes. I wear a UK 12 size. And generally, I tend to buy a 12.5 or 13, but this, it's a UK 12 and it just fits as good as it can. The other thing about the fitting of the shoe is it has these web locks on it. So it has, I guess, four web locks. Once you have your feet inside the shoe and you're tying it up, it basically grips your complete feet, feels quite comfortable. The web lock actually helps. Next, we'll go to the most important part of a shoe that a hooper looks for and that's the traction. That's right. And I'll start off with saying that this shoe didn't take a single day to break in. For generally you see if you buy new shoes, buy new kicks to ball in, it takes around a week or 10 days or 3 days depending on the shoe to break in completely. To For your feet to get comfortable, to you get the right kind of grip you need on be it on indoor coats or on outdoor coats. But this shoe, it was just, it broke in the day I got it, the moment I stepped foot on the coat. It was like, I've been wearing this shoe for months now, it felt like that. I didn't get the new shoe feeling when you have to adjust with the shoe. This just was right on spot. Coming to the traction, this has excellent traction. This shoe is all grip, no slip, seriously. Uh, the traction is too good. I played on indoor coats. I played a few days on outdoor cemented dusty coats that we generally have in India everywhere. Everyone has to hope in an outdoor coat itself, be it a synthetic coat or a cemented coat. So I played on a quite a rough, uh, dusty cement coat as you can say and you can still see the sole is still intact it hasn't broken down the rubber is still good everything looks great till now um, now talking about the traction so generally if you see the trend nowadays with different shoes so they have these multi-directional sole that they have that gives you a good uh, traction on different kind of coats. The outer sole for this shoe has a very unique pattern to it. Like I haven't seen these kind of patterns on a shoe, on the soles of a shoe before. Uh, as you can see, it has different kind of patterns. If you see the golden, the yellow part on it, uh, as you can see, I have the shoe in my hand. These, if you look closely, I'll cue in the picture, you can see it over there. 
uh, have these different multi-directional patterns to it which helps with your speed uh, was for quicker players like guards point guards uh, changing directions changing speeds quickly this part helps with that a lot if you see the black part it has a completely different groove to it uh, this when you look closely to it it has different grooves and different patterns all over which i felt like it actually helped me more to grip on different kinds of surfaces on wooden surfaces this was just amazing this just blew my mind and on the cemented surfaces it gets the grip starts to vary once the dust starts settling in on the sole but the kind of sole they have provided you just need to wipe it off every time before you go to play well most of us do if we have expensive shoes we just keep on cleaning cleaning them that's all you need to do just wipe it off and it's good to go it's good new like you can see i have played in this for a good 10 or 15 times on cemented dusty outdoor courts i just washed the sole gave it a good clean and see here it is it's as good as new uh other good thing the outer sole is rubber it's completely rubber and it's hard so that's a good part if you're playing on a cemented court the patterns won't wear off very easily uh if you see still got all the grooves and the patterns that it had initially so that's all i have to say about the traction of the shoe it's good like it's good for smaller players for point guards for the quicker players who need to change directions accelerate and stop quickly you can stop on a dime it helps uh the high top actually helps for the bigger players who need ankle support it's good for them as well the grip is good for them as well it's equivalently balanced for both kind of players any kind of players uh that's one good take away for me from that because generally the smaller players tend to go for low ankle shoes but with this one well i can say this goes for everyone you could go for guards to forwards to centers wherever you are how shifty you are how much pace changes you have this shoe is going to help you through all of them coming to the cushioning the shoe actually has a eva foam sole and this is around uh, 25 mm high at the heels So if in case you land on the heel you have good cushioning which you shouldn't you shouldn't land on your heels you should land on your toes every time you coming down but if in case you land on your heels the shoe got it. the cushion is big enough good enough for any player of any size i won't say it's a bit on the thicker size the mid sole or uh, the bottom sole but it doesn't uh, creates a problem with speed changes and shifting it's a very light shoe in that case if you're wondering with the high top and the broad sole it's a very light shoe given uh, the size of the sole or the size of the shoe and complete we're talking about cushioning it's, the impact protection is actually on point it's actually very good coming to the materials used in the shoe as i told you earlier itself the sole the outer sole is completely rubber the mid sole is a mixture of rubber and polyester well the upper part of the shoe has kind of a breathable fabric to it which actually again helps it make a lighter shoe like the high top i discussed earlier it's again a breathable fabric it's actually very light and very easy talking about the inner surface of the shoe if you can see like it has a very good sweat absorption mechanism going on it didn't retain much of the sweat it dried off very easily so the sweat absorption mechanism seems pretty good working very nicely now coming to the part of the video which you all might be waiting for so how much does these shoe cost you so this shoe actually is just for 4500 rupees can you believe that a shoe of this quality a basketball shoe i know all the in the basketball players everyone knows how how expensive it can be to buy a good pair of basketball shoes in india but trust me this is a good one and this is just for 4500 rupees i'm saying so like comparing it to other branded shoes because it is on that level personally from what i felt after playing in them for a few days i mean generally hoopers have to order the shoes online or most what most of us do if they need a branded shoe they talk to their cousins or friends or relatives who are living outside india so whenever they're coming so that they can get them a pair of shoes yeah exactly i can understand the feeling i've done that numerous number of times myself but if you get as good a shoe in india at 
an even cheaper price this is 4500 rupees and that too you don't have to order it online you can go to the various decathlon centers the shops they have the showrooms they have you can just go try it on the size is not a problem like i said even if you want to order it online i think you should go ahead with whatever size you wear because this is just comfortable for any kind of feet me be it a wider foot or a normal size foot in the end what i have to say is a very good combination of traction and cushioning because generally the smaller guards the players the smaller players tend to go for shoes with good traction which generally the low ankle shoes that most of us know and the bigger guys the centers of ours they go for shoes with more cushioning uh, which can give them good support uh, a high top shoe maybe but this one has a great balance for both kind of players like i already mentioned and the fit of the shoe is actually amazing i think that's one of the best parts of the shoe is how well it fits any kind of leg it keeps your foot locked in place so there's no back and forth while you're running while you're jumping while you're making the moves your feet remains locked up that's a very good point personally for me because i generally find many different kind of shoes if it's not the proper fit if i order it online while playing there's some space either left on my heel or in the toes there's some how some space or sometime it just gets too tight but with this one it's it fits amazingly so i just want to end this video saying like if you're looking for a good new pair of basketball shoes to play ball in on the cemented outdoor courts in india the dusty ones this might be a good option you should give it a try as far as i can say because i've been there i've gone through i've done my share of research for looking for a good pair of shoes because the amount of money we have to spend to get a to get actually a decently good pair of basketball shoes is a lot and everyone wants to get their worth when they're putting in that much money to buy a pair of shoes obviously and no it's not just about the money it's also about the experience how good the shoe is how is the traction how is the cushioning everything about the shoe looks good till now the durability looks good because of the outer sole it's hard rubber so it won't wear out very easily very quickly that's another big issue if you go for branded shoes expensive shoes they are generally built for the indoor courts which the shoes we actually buy from outside of india even the the shoes on the higher side the expensive ones generally wear out very easily if you play them play with them on the outdoor courts on the cemented and the traction you start losing the traction from the dust start settling in but that's where the shoe i actually think um, is better than the other ones because uh, the dust really doesn't settle in much you just need to give it a good wipe and you're good to go well that's all i have as you can see um rocking this brown man can jump t-shirt from ekalavyas you can see the little logo down there ekalavyas yeah that's what i'm talking about uh we actually haven't started merchandising yet but hopefully in the future we will uh if you like the video if you like the review if you actually find it helpful please do like the video share it with your friends share it in your basketball community because this is the kind of reviews we hope to generate in the future that can help our indian basketball players our desi hoopers as you may say because the conditions playing basketball here are different the shoes we need are different the accessories need we need are different so this is one of its kind that finally we have a good shoe in india that's easily available on stores on outlets or online so yeah that's it so if you liked it do comment tag your friends share it with them let them know that there's a new shoe that's available and subscribe to eklavyas for more reviews in the future and some dope mixtapes of indian basketball players you can already check out the channel there are a lot of videos put out there and there's some new stuff coming new content coming subscribe it hit the bell icon you will be notified every time we put on a new video we try to put new videos every week new mix tapes or be it product reviews in the future so whatever you want to know about indian basketball the indian basketball community eklavyas got you you can check us out on instagram uh, eklavyas or facebook or twitter we are everywhere we just want to help the indian basketball community grow and do the best from our side peace and that's our motto guys know your game